How to Change Count to Sum in Power BI. If you're working with data in Power BI and you're stuck with a count when you really need a sum, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to make this change. First, you need to understand why Power BI might be defaulting to a count instead of a sum. This often happens because the field you're working with is not classified as a numeric field. For example, if a field like year or product ID is categorized as text, Power BI won't let you sum or average it. It will only count it. To change this, you need to adjust the data type of the field. Here's how you do it. Go to the Modeling tab in Power BI Desktop. This tab allows you to change the properties of your fields. Find the field you want to change and click on it. In the Modeling tab, you'll see an option to change the data type. Make sure to set the data type to number or the appropriate numeric type for your field. Once you've changed the data type, you can now aggregate the field in different ways. To do this, go back to your visualization, such as a chart or table. In the Fields list, find the field you just modified and drag it into the Values well of your visualization. Right-click on the field in the Values well and select the drop-down arrow. Here, you'll see various aggregation options like Sum, Average, Minimum, Maximum, and Count. Choose Sum if that's what you need. If the field is already in your visualization but is set to Count, you can change the aggregation directly. Right-click on the field in the visualization, select the drop-down arrow, and choose the desired aggregation type, such as Sum or Average. Another common issue is when a field has a calculator icon next to it, indicating it's a calculated measure. In this case, the aggregation is hard-coded and can't be changed by you unless you have the permissions to edit the semantic model. If you're the owner, you can modify the measure's formula. Otherwise, you'll need to contact the semantic model owner for help. By following these steps, you should be able to change the count to a sum or any other aggregation type you need in Power BI. Remember to always check the data type and the field's properties to ensure you're working with the correct settings.